Hey guys, I thought I would give you a tiny little tour of the apartment that I currently live in with my girlfriend. Now, I thought I would try something a little bit different today and give you, yeah, this new video and this type of video. So let me know if you guys enjoy it, um, but let's get started. So I just wanted to say that this is our living room, as you can see. Uh, we do have a fridge and the pantry actually to the far right behind those cupboard doors. And this connects to the kitchen as well as the hallway. And that giant window there is our bedroom. Now when it comes to the kitchen, we don't have much bench space. It's actually taken up by the rice cooker and the Nespresso. Uh, below the microwave is where the dishwasher is, as well as all the other cupboards. So I do enjoy that this apartment is really good at sort of hiding everything um, and keeping it super small and compact, which is good. Now, as I mentioned before, the rice cooker and the Nespresso pretty much take up most of this space. We do have other things, but they're obviously tucked away in the cupboard. I cannot live without a rice cooker. I'm gonna tell you now, I have to have one. It's in my top five things to have, and I recommend it for any apartment. Now, we're super fortunate to have a gas stove. I prefer a gas stove because it doesn't uh, go along with the electricity bill and it's much cheaper as well. In terms of what's in that container, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to guess and I want you to leave it in the comments below. Now this couch took my girlfriend forever to actually convince me to get one. I didn't see the need for one until we actually did get one and I'm very thankful that she convinced me to get one because I spend most of my time on there now and it's pretty much where I sleep sometimes just because my PlayStation's out in the living room and I stay up late. With the couch on the right where it extends out, there's actually a hidden compartment there. So that's where most of our junk is. Um, and it's just helpful to have it hidden as well as blankets and pillows. And it does fold out into a bed. And like, it's just super easy to put together as well and disassemble at the same time. Now this table actually folds out into a longer table. Uh, as you can see from the hinges on the side, it actually has one on the other side as well. But because there's only two of us in this apartment, there's really no need for us to fully extend it. So we pretty much just have the two chairs and that's where we have dinner sometimes. Oh, and more candles. Now my girlfriend decided to buy one of these as well, a full length mirror. Um, I don't use it too much, but it has been definitely very helpful for me. Um, but yeah, she mainly uses that and it does make the apartment look a lot bigger as well, which is pretty cool. Now this bed is actually by Eva Mattress. Um, it does come in a box, so it's actually rolled up and then it actually expands when you open it. I did a project with them a while back and I just, yeah, I fell in love with the bed, so I decided to buy it. It's not sponsored, this video, by them or neither was the bed. I actually did have to buy it, um, but they did send me some nice sheets um, just because I reached out to them, so that was really nice. Now this is like the weirdest spot in the apartment. It's just like this really small area. So I did have to find like sort of like a TV bench that would fit our TV and all the little things that we have in it. Um, but it mainly just hosts our books and my PlayStation and my games. So yeah, I was really lucky to find something that actually fit in there. Now finally, we have the bathroom. It's very small, but I do like it. It's my favorite bathroom out of all the apartments that I've lived in in Melbourne. And I think because it's small and compact, it, it, it tends to bounce the light around a lot more, especially because it does have that sort of white finish. It does have a bit of gray in there, but it also has that red backing similar to the kitchen. So I think that was obviously a design choice. Now, when it comes to the lighting, there's plenty of it, as you can see. And in the top right corner at the moment, there is that big panel, which is also a heater and a light. Behind the door um, of the bathroom is actually where we have the washing machine. And in the hallway there, that's just all the junk from cleaning today. So ignore that. But yeah, that's the bathroom. Now with this, this is pretty much the back of the apartment. There's no actual way out of here. So that's why it's the back. We are on the lower level, so we don't get much sunlight other than this, but it's pretty much where we hang our clothes. And this is also the only natural source of light we have. So yeah, that's our apartment. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment and thumbs up the video, subscribe, do all of that. I really wanna know what you guys thought of this video, how I could improve it, um, or what was your favorite part about the video. And if there was anything you wanted me to sort of dive more into, um, if you do enjoy these kinds of videos, let me know and I'll be sure to keep doing them. Peace.